back to go and have another conch salad today. Man, and that guy's not working today. And we planning to leave tomorrow. I suppose we could stay another day, but coming to this little spot. Peace, peace and plenty. This is actually a rocky bay. I mean, how beautiful are these places? They are just absolutely in insane. Yeah. It's just amazing. We're a little gin and tonic here with us. I'm gonna come and park in the corner here and just loaf for a while. Apparently all these beaches are public so they can't stop you anchoring here. You see there's a little pub here so maybe they got a bit of grub as well. Seeing as we were gonna have a salad. But yeah, what an unbelievable little spot. How is this? We just come onto this little thing. It's actually a private little beach and uh, all, the, all the beaches are public as such but it's a private Yeah, it's like being at your own private resort, insane. Service with a smile here. Freaking hell. Sands. Sands. Kerry's in her element now. I think she's on holiday. Yeah, now I'm definitely <laughs> on, a, on a freaking mini vacation here, Stavane. On holiday, at last. Check this out. God, we need sure. Picture perfect. Insane. It doesn't really get much better than this. Not a breath of wind today. It is stunning beyond belief. Cheers, Bahamas. And Kerry's made some friends. That guy there, I'm talking to Trevor, has been incredible. He's been insane. He's made our day so special. Oh, this place is beautiful. Yeah, so you think you've seen it all when you've traveled a bit. And I know this is like a, a holiday. It's not been a holiday really, but it feels that that's like what we're portraying here but man there's some places in life that are just simply insane and you just got to share it so this is called peace and plenty in the bahamas and kerry's having fun on the swings <laughs> loving every minute of this but seriously what a place and it's just taken one guy, Delvin, who runs the bar here, to change the whole scene, to change the whole vibe here. Because it takes one guy who's friendly. Sorry, I've had way too much beer. To just make things amazing. And I was just, just saying to him, I hope they pay him enough because one guy like him, just makes everybody feel welcome and just just makes such a chilled atmosphere and it's just incredible how that that changes 
you know everything everything i mean you, you come in you look at this it's a private resort and it's like snooty and it, it, it looks like that and then you come in here and you meet this guy and he just says you're welcome come and sit down organizes a gazebo puts a towel down for you and and just says it's Find yours what what views, whatever you want runs around and you feel like you're in a freaking five-star yeah. hotel yeah. which you've been paying for meanwhile we're freaking squatters from the yacht and we just arrived here for the day what an incredible experience on one of the most beautiful little beaches in the world now that is probably the best sales pitch you could give to the bahamas anyway so yeah we we all into doing all these yachty things but sometimes you run into these places and they are worth a mention this is absolutely incredible elvin anyway super special you'd think that nobody would would come here because it just looks so exclusive <laughs> meanwhile it's the chillest place in the world or in the bahamas for sure <laughs> anyway that's our little take on it for today how is this day just the most breathless windless probably the chillest day in the last two weeks because we've had a bit of wind and there's there's plenty of wind coming from in the next two days we've got like 30 knots wind so we're gonna go and hide up at Staniel Key and yeah I don't know find a place where it's out of the weather not that this is not out the weather this place is out the weather but yeah we've got to move so because we've, we've got to be in in uh, West Palm around about the 20th so it's the worst thing yachting to have a timetable or a freaking schedule I've, I've said this for since we started this because it's just you run into these places and you just want to stay and then you've got to move Ugh. anyway so stoked you ran into this place Yeah, it's hard to put into words the way the two of us felt. We'd spent all that time in Panama in those miserable conditions, wanting to get going, and now we're in the Bahamas on a timetable. And uh, we were also, you know, living our last couple of days on, on the Lyra. And after two years of, of sailing on her, the whole trip coming to an end, it was really difficult to, to uh, stay uh, super positive and even though we're in this amazing place. Incredible day. Yeah, one gets so used to the lifestyle on the, on the yacht and uh, knowing that we were going north into the madness and the commercial craziness that was facing us up north wasn't something we were looking forward to. So yeah, yeah we were just trying to breathe in the moments and try and Put what lay ahead out of our minds. Yeah, probably our last uh, day in Georgetown. How's that contrast? That blue, blue sky with the white and the dark. So pretty. Wow. Hope it comes out on the camera. Man, that's pretty. Weather's starting to take a turn for the worse. We've had uh, quite a bit of rain last night, off and on, and a bit of breeze starting to pick up. And the weather forecasts going forward doesn't look too good. And I'm hoping to get up to uh, Farmer's Cut and what do they call it, Big Majors, to uh, before this wind really kicks in, I think we're going to have some really shitty weather coming our way. Yeah, I've been up editing since three this morning. The rain woke me up and um, yeah, get a bit of work done, downloading a video. It's amazing how this weather changes. Yesterday was an absolutely, absolutely perfect belter day. And today's gone a bit pear-shaped. Yeah, we're going to spend a bit of time with some friends we met yesterday. Um, I'm going to go and put the yacht next to the chat and chill and go and have a, a another conch salad. Hopefully the weather is not too bad today. Hopefully it's settled a little bit before. And then, yeah, tomorrow morning early we've got to get going. Get our way onto the other side, a bit further up the Exumas and then 
tuck in behind the mainland before this bit of 30 knot weather hits us. Hopefully it's not too shitty, but it looks like a, quite a serious cold front coming down from the north. So, Yo, enjoy the last little rays of sunshine. Super pretty here. Uh, okay, we're at the St. Francis Resort. I saw this on the on the charts before we came up. And uh, here with Jim and Sarah. And uh, yeah, what an interesting little coincidence. This, uh, this resort was started by a South African by the name of George Godfrey, who's the original owner. And uh, he started in 20 years ago. Like 20 years. And he's in Panama now. Yeah. There's a lot of South Africans in Panama. They're all running away from South Africa. So <laughs> yeah. it's, just, it's a true story. <laughs> we'll be following shortly. <laughs> we know, we know an Eddie Godfrey. Yeah. So we're going to get hold of him. Maybe his family. No idea if he's related to Eddie, but I'll definitely find out. Anyway, we had a good meal here. And uh, yeah, what a cool little spot. Needs a bit of renovation. A little bar. But incredibly coincidental that, that the place is... That there's a connection to South Africa, not only by name, but actually by the owner, the original owner, which is pretty bloody interesting. Anyway, now, hurricane evacuation plan, grab a beer and run. Anyway, yeah, very interesting. Yeah, we've been trying for two days to get hold of Ronaldo and have another one of those amazing Kong salads, but uh, unfortunately he'd taken ill and wasn't available to make salads, so yeah, we had a pit stop. Look at me. Thank you. Oh, wow. Thick as that. Service. Oh, and this <laughs> is Alvin. <laughs> and Chrissy. Oh, the two divine Thank people you. here that have just spoiled us. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know why you didn't. I, 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 I didn't bring enough, didn't I? Thank <laughs> you. You brought this. You brought this. That was the problem. That was the problem. That. Thank you. You haven't brought enough yourself. Thank you. Oh, well. You go. Go. Cheers. Are we all having a little shot here? Yeah. Look at us. Yeah. Yeah. You're absolute, absolute. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy. Enjoy. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. 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 What is it? What is in here? All the right stuff. All the right stuff. <laughs> right. You can't get away from it. I didn't come back for those shots that we have. I don't want you to go nowhere else and find it. It's mm. right here. Mm. It's only here. Mm. Alvin's mm. mixed. That's, That's it. Only for my EIP people right now. Alright, now if we want to switch it up, we're going to keep it for next time. If you want to switch it up, we can switch it up. We got options. Right. So we can get options. Now where in the world do you get brought uh, complimentary shots and treated like VIP guests? while on a private resort beach. Yeah, what an amazing place. Yeah, another early morning, leaving Georgetown and the Chat and Chill and the Heli Hansen 50. Headed down to the South Cut, or North Cut, should I say. We're going to go out the top, out there and out. So we're going to go a little up this little path and up there and up there and up there and up there so yeah i got both navionics and stuff running here now yeah it's early morning eh? yeah we had a great time at georgetown and uh sad to leave there and elvin and the guys at rocky bay awesome place and a small bearing knock to go with it we're coming out to the last little dog leg through the cut yeah. we got a bit of a bummy on the left yeah. it's breaking i can see and this little sandbank, little island in front of Rock Island. Almost done. Just got a little dog leg and we're out. Ah, not too bad. Yeah, it looks a lot worse on the plotter than what it really is. I suppose you scare yourself, but... Yeah, not bad at all, eh? Not bad at all. You could do this at night. As long as your plotters are working. Yeah, pretty nice sailing conditions. We got... 17, 16, 17, 18, 
current and doing six, seven, up to eight times. Trundling up the coast, headed for Farmer's Cut. Up there somewhere, there we go. Farmer's K, big farmers. Now going up the side of the coast, you can see the old Exuma bank up here, so yeah, pretty chilled. Yeah, that's the drop off coming up. You can see us hitting the drop off there. That's farmers there. Nice big fish hanging at 20 meters there. Sure. Couple of nice fish there. They're not biting anything. Because we've got lines out. Oh, couple of nice fish there. I know what those are. I've got a jig there. 40 meters. Hmm. Oh, nice little sail for the day. Oh, 127. Slow down a little bit. Still beautiful. Downwind. Yeah, it's just a pity with all the weed down, man. It's fishing, fishing out. You got to clear the lines all the time. The weed gets hooked in the swivels and on the on the rapalos and on your on your lures. So now yeah, we haven't had a hit yet at all. I mean, only time we've had them is when those little drop-offs when we were coming up, but fishing has been super poor, so it's not really worth it. Now, coming into Farmer's Cut, we're a bit later than what I hoped. Check at this current pushing out here. Whew. I don't even know if we're going to be able to go against this. This looks pretty hectic. We'll give it a go, Let's see, because I don't know where we're going to sleep otherwise. We've got to get in here. It's not going to be easy. This is boiling out here. Shut. Check at it going out there. I'm just going to concentrate already in 10 meters of water here. Shit, this is boiling. First time doing one of these. So, yeah, it's going to be some standing waves here. On a yeah, if you're going to be doing these narrow cuts on an outgoing tide, definitely preferable to have two motors and the ability to do 10 to 12 knots because the current coming through these cuts is unbelievable. Jeez, man. So make sure you subscribe and join us next week to see if we get through the cut safely and work our way up to Staniel Key. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next week. Ciao for now.